And the, the subtext of what was going on is there was about 75 homeless people that moved into this area. They were keeping this area safe. Kids yeah, from the block started to play on the street because they were here. They managed this block of flat that was completely dilapidated. So when they went to the cops down the line, they said to the cops, please come, get those drug loads out of the of the space, then we can go and have sort of manage nice. The cop says, no, you got guns, take your guns and go and shoot them. Hmm. You know, homeless guns. But anyway, so what the council used to do, they come and they break them down again. They'll break them down, they'll put on the street, they would live here on the street from great grandfather to great grandchild. And then they would slowly start to move back again and the same thing will happen, they can't break them down. Now, for me, the one thing that is very apparent here is that we're not thinking that what we're doing in action is perpetuating and making sure that this notion of a violence that is rooted in the past is being kept alive, you know? So our action doesn't have, their action didn't have any um, desire to actually be critical about what they're doing. But again, yet today you'll see all these adults still. All the homeless has been chased away, and that there, there was a potential for a nice program. You know, we went and we approached the council and says, "Look, we know these people personally. We could be this agent that worked between them and you to develop something." We never ever heard a response back. You know? It's actually very interesting because in Paris they got a building that was a beautiful old building that was like. Yeah. And they still live there, and it's a kind of major attraction. And they have their, well, everything's open, so anybody can come visit them at any time. Yeah. To whom does See, so the, the, the council now. The council owner. Yeah. Council owner. Yeah. Okay.